All right, so I'm gonna start out in this video with a disclaimer that unfortunately you're gonna hear some clicking and I tried really hard for like a solid hour, but sadly I have a headset that uh, I don't use for sound anymore, but I still use it as a microphone. And it's like nine years old or something like that. And I mean, they still sell it, which is funny for like $80. I mean, it's great when it's new, but um, this thing has been abused because I'm just a tech abuser. Uh, so you're just gonna have to unfortunately deal with that or bear with me. Um, other than that, yeah, so we're just going to get right to it. Um, this program is amazing in so many ways, and I'm going to try to tell you why, but doing this all in one cut without any, any editing at all is going to be really challenging for me because, like, I'm bad at speech. Uh, anyway, so basically, okay, well, what is ShareX? ShareX is automation for capturing images, uploading images, graphical you know input making run books making SOPs um, there's so many things uh, and I think where I'd probably start is honestly just what is the best at in my opinion is this and that I mean instantly uploaded so essentially you have what's called hotkeys and this is in my opinion the most important function of this entire application uh, program whatever you want to call it is hotkeys and what I mean by hotkeys is you can pick whichever you want to do with you know what features are built in and for this example I'm just gonna say screen capture right so if I want to capture a specific region of any of my desktops you know if I have three monitors 500 monitors you know ultra screen whatever you're gonna click capture screen you're not gonna type whatever a name in um, and then you know you're gonna add your settings how you like them um, and this can complicate people. A lot of people don't understand about the override features. You know, I see a lot of questions about that. Um, and the most important ones are, do you want it offline or do you want it online? And if you want it offline, you're just gonna unclick upload to host. So you can do all your screen capping offline. So say you're, in a, you're working in a work environment where they have a lot of like regulations and stuff where you can't use X, Y, and Z. Well, I mean, this isn't going anywhere. It's on the desktop. Um, and a lot of people, you know, don't know about Fox Explorer, so that just instantly opens Fox Explorer. I mean, you know, these are, this is stuff that, you know, you just you should just get into the program and look at what it can do in that sense. I'm not really going to get into that specific set. Um, just to say there's a, a lot of functionality that's really cool, uh, and it's really automated, and automation is fucking awesome um, for the simple reason of what I just did. Because, like, back in the day for me, Back in the day, I mean, she's not, not, I mean, yeah, I'm ancient, but I'm not really that ancient. Um, I sound like I'm 12, so I guess I got that going for me. Uh, back in the day, like, if I want to go to wherever I was uploading my images, you know, let's just go, I'm just, I use Imgur because it's fucking simple. Yeah, I mean, the privacy isn't the best, but I don't post, like, illicit shit on my Imgur account. I just post, you know, memes or cool things that I find. So it, I don't, you know, if I want it to be private, I make an offline capture. Um, like I have here. But, you know, in the old days, you go, you have to click here, you have to click add image, you have to click browse, you have to go to your, you know, your, you gotta find your fucking picture, you gotta input it, it has to, you know, propagate. But, you know, with ShareX, like, you just, I mean, it's crazy, man. You just, look, look at this. It just instantly uploads itself. And the coolest thing about that is it gives you that URL, because it, it copies your clipboard instantly. So, you, I mean, I remember I was playing WoW, WoW Classic, like, I don't know, like seven months ago. And my friend Elizabeth uh, was talking about this. I, well, I was talking about an add-on um, called Weak Auras, which is amazing. It's like the best add-on that WoW is, like, if you don't have Weak Auras, you're doing it wrong. Um, and I took a picture of the UI and how, you know, it was it's functional. And she was like, how did you just take that? Like, how did you send that picture so fast? And I was like, well, let me tell you, ShareX. Because it's amazing. Uh, you just you literally just screen cap and then just control V. And then, like, it's like, okay, cool. Uh, and it's like, wow, what else? I mean, that's it, right? And honestly, for most end users, in my opinion, that use ShareX, that's probably all they're ever going to use it for. Um, because it's awesome for that. But there's so many other features that are in it. And I think that's what overwhelms a lot of people, at least from the reviews I've seen from uh, like big tech sites about like top five open source freeware you know, whatever, is they'll be like, yeah, ShareX is great, but it's complicated. And I mean, yes and no. 
like for most of the functions it's pretty straightforward i'd say where the complication comes in is when you get into like the custom uploader settings like area like the dome like that whole yeah that's like a whole thing of you know yeah you have to have like a little bit of experience and it can be annoying and you know you, you, have, you probably wouldn't follow a guide or something if you're inexperienced but the thing about Sharex is it has so many built-in uploader sites like domains and things like that that you know unless you want to be that cool IT nerd that's got his own like URL name and blah blah, blah you can just upload it to like you know Amazon for example AWS or Google or you know Microsoft I mean all these are pre-built in and when you go to your hockey settings to set that up you simply just override the destination and you pick that destination and then every time you use excuse me that specific hotkey it's going to preset those determined values now a lot of people they just use these right here these two and they just set they set them from here which is great but like that's a generalized way of doing it because you know say you want to have you know like say you want to screen record but you also want to record gifs for your reddit meme nerd friends and yeah okay well then you want to also do like tutorials in terms of like just screen capping and using the GUI for example uh, which we'll get into um, and it's like well then it's like okay well every time you gotta click this click that click that. And it's like well that's not very automated and that like that's why hotkey settings are here right? and what I was talking about earlier and why it's so awesome is this function is amazing like this is why Sharex is fucking great it's because you can just specify each automated click by having one click um, to get to your to what you need to do uh, and for example the GUI you know I guess can overwhelm people too at sometimes but if you just highlight over each function it's not only gonna give you that key bind for it it's also gonna tell you what it is and for the most part you can you know kind of make out like what it is you know like for making wikis like an internal SOPs for like um, you know just helping other users you know, figure stuff out this program has saved my ass like so many times because it's so efficient. I mean, just the this, this step thing and you know, just like the tail and being able to be like, okay, well, step one is click this and you know, step two is click that. Or if you know, if you don't want steps, then you're like, okay, well, I want to use letters. And then you're like, okay, A, B, C, D, E. And then, you know, it's just like, it's great for and then you can right click and get rid of it, you know, if you fucked it up and if you right click all together, it gets rid of the GUI, right? And then you, you know, you can get back at the GUI because you have your hotkey. Um, you know, it's great for stuff like text outline, like, hey, this is a test of what's up. I don't know. I can't think of anything to type. I spelled anything wrong. Okay, it doesn't really matter because I'm illiterate. Uh, and it's just like, it's cool. And this is like one of my favorite or more favorite English, man. Um, one one takes man one takes they just they fuck you <laughs> um i just like that it's see-through you know it's transparent basically um and you know for making wikis and stuff this is great because you can be like um go to control panel right and then be like okay go to control panel or whatever and obviously i don't have it open but um and then it can be like step one well, we got to change it back to, you know, you got to edit it, go back to uh, not use letters, and then write step one, you know, and then you just click that, and then you, like, type in, or just right-click, you know, type in control panel, blah, 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 you know, whatever. Um, the point is, this GUI is the second main function of why this program is so great. First, you have the hotkeys, which you know allows you to automate pretty much everything that you want to do within what the functions give you. You know, like file sharing and uploading and uh, productivity and things like that. And then you know these add to it to enhance whatever you're trying to show the end user or show you know your friend, whoever you know, whatever. This this doesn't have to be like a a fully IT thing. I just kind of make it into that because that's just how I think about it because it's helped me. Uh, in a lot of ways in that sense but it's also great for just dicking around and just memeing um, like look I mean you can even like the coolest thing man you can like add your own custom watermarks with this what is it task settings um, effects image effects 
and you know there's just this whole like it's crazy man like this, <laughs> like there's just so much and i guess that's why I, I do understand where people are like oh it's really complicated and i mean yeah i know you just kind of like click around right like so you can add all these different things right there's all these different things you can do to your border like for example if you wanted to make your um border like a certain color around right you just you know and it's red you know so every screenshot you take after that it'll have a red outline and you know you can even get wild with it and like you know make it rainbowy and just like add like 500 colors and you know just do all kinds of crazy shit um and i, and I just kind of like whatever i mean it's cool but it's just not like yeah um but there's just so much stuff you know like you can you know you can just grayscale there's there's so many different features you could add that each time you screen cap it'll look like that with whatever you have um for me right now like literally in the last week i just added this emoji is like the hero emoji to the bottom right of every screen cap when it's offline and i just find it hilarious like I, every time i take a screen cap like i smile and it's like okay well that helps my depression a little bit because i see like this little fucking blob like smiling right back at me and i'm like this is this is dope uh, and I haven't rescaled it yet, uh, unfortunately, because I'm lazy. But anyways, so the whole point is, like, there's just so many features um, built into this application, program, whatever you want to call it, whatever, you know, fancy is your fancy. Um, you know, they have OCR, which is really fucking cool, where, you know, say I'm like, oh, my God, there's so many words here, like, I wish I could just like grab that text and put it in a file and then, you know, write whatever I want or, you know, do whatever I want to do with it. And you're like, okay, well, maybe I should make a key bind for that. And I'm like, cool. Well, good, lucky for me, I did. So it's like control U, right? So I'm like, okay, control U. And I'm like, well, can I get this text ripped? And it's like, wow, it just ripped all the text instantly. And it's like, I don't even have to, like, rewrite this. I can just, like, copy-paste this, you know? That's fucking... It's like, what? <laughs> That's amazing. Um, what else? What else? This video is already way longer than I wanted to be. The only reason I'm doing this video is because I wanted to have an intro for this because it was like, welcome, unsubscribe visitor. Tell unsubscribe users what your channel's all about. And try to get subscriptions and likes because that's all that matters in life is metrics. I was like, well... I mean, and then I thought about it. I was like, well, I mean, it'd be, be kind of cool just to have, like, an intro video about, like, well, what is this program? Not just these separate videos of, like, these specific things you can do with it. Maybe just, like, a general over video, which, you know, 8,000 other people have done. And not like I'm any different, but I wanted to do it anyways because I just want to get, I mean, I don't want to get anything out of it. I just want other people to just realize how awesome this fucking program is and how, like, committed the team behind it is and how it's completely open source and free and like there's no gimmick about it which is amazing uh anyway so yeah i want to make like this intro which i you know i was going to make like a three minute video because you know there's the metric rules of if your intro video is more than like x amount of time no one's gonna fucking watch it so you're like oh okay great and you know i don't know my runtime but i'm sure it's like eight years by now um maybe nine years i don't know if we're on like another planet with uh What's his our homeboy, uh, Matthew McConaughey, um, chasing black holes? Maybe it'll be like five five seconds. But yeah, so this video turned out to be a lot longer than I wanted it to be. But unfortunately, I'm not even unfortunately. I mean, I guess like whatever, because I'm just rambling, you know. Because this is all one take, and I'm not gonna edit this at all, because I just don't care. Like, I mean, I don't care in that. Sense. I mean, I do care about video quality and I won't, you know, user functionality and you getting to like understand what is so cool about this program but at the same time i like the idea of one takes because it makes you like a better uh vocalist like it makes you more efficient at getting your point across which right now i'm not doing a good job of because i've just completely add sidelined for the last like minute and a half but anyway so what else um like i said all these destinations are great you know there's just so many baked in where you don't have to worry about um, custom uploaders. I, I swear that's the number one uh, ticket that gets in is custom uploaders, and it's 50% of the time it's like, uh, well, how, how do I get my PHP to work or how do I do this? Uh, yeah, and it's like, I mean, yeah, that's so. Yeah, in a sense, that is complicated um, because 
it requires some knowledge that, you know, a basic person just wants to take screenshots and doodle and shit, um, you know, it's not going to know shit. I don't even know half this shit. Um, I'm not going to sit here and tell you I know because I don't. Um, but for everything else, man, it's great. Uh, it's just really great. Just being able to just, like, just, it's just, I, oh, man, it's just a great program. And sometimes I get overwhelmed with it in a sense of, like, how awesome it is that I'm just, like, losing track of uh, what I'm even trying to, you know, show. But, um, yeah, and, you know, they also have scrolling capture where it's kind of, you know, it's, it's not it's still a work in progress, it seems, uh, where you can basically, you know, go to a web page and record, a, like, it's not even recording, it's, like, instantly capturing, like, an aperture, like, bah, 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 as you go down, um, and it'll take, like, the whole web page as one picture, and it'll stitch it together, uh, and that requires some editing sometimes to get it right, but it's still pretty sweet. Um, in the newest release, I know he added image splitter, which, you know, I'm not going to get into. It basically just splits the file into quadrants and stuff like that for, you can make like yeah, emoji discord and, or use emojis in discord and shit like that. But, um, hmm. yeah, it just, really, it's just the automated part about that program that really draws me to it, um, about how it takes something that should be simple already and makes it actually simple instead of you know going through this process of going to whatever domain you're going to you know dragging dropping dragging dropping you're just instantaneously getting a result and in, in an age of you know instantaneous gratification and media where you've got to fucking get this link to your nearest best bud in five seconds well you can do it better with shares in 0.001 second i mean i mean that's selling itself and, like, the coolest thing for me personally, <laughs> since I've been already using this for a couple of years, is um, they just add, I mean, I've had it for a bit because I use the dev, but they just added in the newest release um, custom themes. And dark theme was the newest addition in the last build because um, before it was just all light. But with the custom themes, you can literally customize your entire UI. And, you know, for most people, they're going to be like, whatever, I don't care. But for me, dude, this shit's fucking awesome. It's like... It's like you make it like look like some Neo shit. It's like like super, I'm super hacker man. Yeah, I'm fucking Rami Malek. I'm like Mr. Robot. You know, like obviously I'm not. But, you know, it's it's cool um, what you can do. And, it, like, I mean, look at all this shit he, he puts in here. And not he, I mean, it's not just Jax. It's other people as well. It's a lot of people. Um, you know, well, not a lot of people, but it's people. Um, like all these features, you know, that, sure, if you get into this, it can look complex and overwhelming. But it, it's just like that additional stuff that's baked in that you don't like think about but that's nice to have is like like that's the big thing i like about sharex is that they always try to make it simplistic in a way and then if it's not simplistic they'll put in an additional feature where it's like okay well you know if you want to get more into it you can go to this you know specific thing and look at it right um you know like say you had uh like a gif in a picture and you want to send them with the same hotkey, you can, you know, filter them out um, with add. And I'm just fucking, I'm rambling. I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna have to edit this, but I can't. I mean, I guess with YouTube baked in, I can like cut off the end of it, uh, but that just ruined the whole point. <laughs> I guess all I'm saying, man, or woman, or they, or boy with an eye, uh, the people, you know, the, whatever, is this program is fucking awesome. And I highly recommend you typing this thing, Google, or whatever, you know, you use. You don't have to use Google because you know, all they care about is ad spamming you. But, you know, whatever, you know, it's just, just download it and just try it. I mean, just, just try it. And if you don't like it, then just, you know, get rid of it. But I'm telling you, you're not going to get rid of it. If you like automated things and you like, taking pictures and you like writing tutorials and you like screen recording and you like ripping text so you can OCR or if you like being cool with your own custom URL and having that uploaded or you know I mean shit man this shit is dope that's all I gotta say and the amount of effort 
they put in for something that they don't get paid for is unbelievable. I mean, they're in their Discord 24-7, like, helping people out. Uh, the main developer will respond to people, like, daily. I mean, it's insane the amount of effort they put into this. Um, it's amazing. Honestly, amazing. It's one of the best programs for open source that I've ever used in my life. Um, and I highly recommend just trying it out. Uh, and I think that's it, honestly. Because I've been rambling for a while here. And really the main functionality for most people to understand like what it is is really just automated screen capping and adding effects to them. That's really the main two functionalities I can think of for like a basic, you know, person that just wants to s screen cap is just the ability to control print or whatever hotkey you set it to. Um, you know, you do that to take a picture or, you know, add your speech bubble or add your lines to print whatever. Um, you know, one thing that's really cool about this too, I didn't mention, is the blur feature is fucking dope. Like, especially if you're like trying to post up online and you wanna like hide certain things. Like for me, for example, I'm like, what if I had some like crazy ass shit up here I didn't want people to see? I'd just be like, oh, well, you know, just like blur it out real quick. Okay, just go ahead and just let me, let me take a screen cap of this. Oh, all right, great. And then you open it up and you're just like, oh, let's blur it out, that's cool. Anyways, you know, it's just it's another side tidbit that makes this program fucking awesome. Um, yeah, just really, I just like deep dive into it and like look into it and just like, there's just so much shit, man. And I think that's why people say it's complicated, but I mean, the basic functionality of what, what it, it's supposed to do is not complicated. So all the complicated stuff, you know, you don't necessarily need, you know, you don't need a custom uploader. Um, a lot of the stuff that, you know, people say is complicated, you don't necessarily need. So that's more of something that you can explore and get into. Um, and I highly recommend doing it because, man, like, I'm, I'm telling you, these days I'll just sit on this app. I call it an app, I mean, it's a program. Um, and I just, like, look at shit. Because, like, you know, they're always making updates. Because if you um, go to your application settings and you check for pre-release updates and you install dev builds, like, th they're always updating shit, like, constantly. And, you know, there's not a change log of it happening in real time, which would be neat if you were, like, um, someone that was like pre like keen on wanting to know like what is new uh, until he would write the patch notes for when the build actually goes live or when they would rather um, but that, I guess that's part of the fun because you kind of just like explore the menus and you're like oh there's a new tool and it's called what's it what is it image splitter oh video converter cool what, what, the, what the fuck is this and I'm like when, when did this come out I was like, oh, okay. And then it's like, it's like, what does it do? And you're like, oh, you just click a fucking video and then you click the output and then you can just co convert it to whatever codec you want. And I'm like, damn, that's dope. <laughs> like, that's real quality. And like, it's not even, it's like, what? I don't know, it's just cool shit like that, man. And like, I just geek out about stuff like that. Like, cause it's, it's cool. I mean, I don't see myself using this a lot cause I'm not in video production um, or a lot of video stuff. So, but yeah, I mean, pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I think that's about it. You know, I appreciate, if you made it this long, I mean, shit, you deserve like some Allah plus God plus some JC plus like all the love from all the universes of whatever. Cause man, listen to me for this long. I don't know. That's impressive. Cause I ramble, especially with one takes. Is one takes, man. It's, I bet this thing's already like 20 minutes long. And I think upload cast me, I think it cast me at 15 minutes too since I'm like a new user. Oof. Just can't win them all, you know? Anyways, get your X. Uh, I believe that you'll get your X. I hope that you will because it's really fucking great. Um, and yeah, like I literally just make tutorials because it's so fucking great. Like, that's the effect this program has on me. I'm just like, man. This shit is so cool. Let me just, like, tell other people about it. Because, like, I want to help other people get automated. And I don't want your likes. I don't want your subscribes. 
I just want you to get automated. So just, just get automated, you know? Just do it and make it.